This video is titled Multiplying Algebraic Terms and when you do this there are two steps to take. The two steps are to multiply the numbers and second of all to collect the pronumerals. In this video we're going to show you how we do this and also why we do this. So let's take a really simple example. Let's say we have the two terms 5a and 2b and we're going to multiply these terms together. So what I like to do is think to myself, well, there's actually some hidden multiplication here. 5a really means 5 times a and 2b really means 2 times b. So let's put the multiplication in there. We've got 5a as 5 times a and 2b as 2 times b. All right, now you might remember when it comes to multiplication that you can change the order of things. So I'm going to change the 2 with the a. I'm going to make it 5 times 2 and I'm going to put the a where the 2 was. So then we get a times b at the end. This is really useful because when you put 5 times 2 together, well, we can make that 10. And then we get 10 times a times b, which can be rewritten as 10ab. Let's now look at our two rules here. First of all, it wanted us to multiply the numbers, which we did. We took the numbers 5 and 2 multiplied them to make 10. The next thing we did is we collected the pronumerals. We took the pronumerals a and b, collected them and put them together to make ab. Now we don't have to follow all this working out. We're allowed to just go from our first step here to our last step here. Let's do one more example, and this time we'll make it a little bit trickier. We'll take 6ab and multiply this by 2b. So if we write down all the hidden multiplication, 6ab is 6 times a times b, and 2b is 2 times b. If we then rearrange it and put the numbers first, we get 6 times 2, and you'll notice that the pronumerals we have are a, b, and another b. So we need to write that next to it. 1a and 2b's all multiplied together. So first of all, we'll multiply our numbers. 6 times 2 is 12, and then we'll group together our pronumerals. Now we have 1a, um, but we also have 2b. So what do we do in that situation? We use our powers. We write b squared. When we look at our original question, we could have simply gone 6 times 2, which is 12, and then we could have grouped together our pronumerals. We can see just by looking at it that we have 1a and 2b's, so we really didn't need to show all this working. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing multiplication of algebraic terms. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.